this is Sam. In today's video we're going to be doing a review of the new legendary weapon, Pharos. So this new legendary weapon that we are now getting is a longbow. It is the one before last legendary weapon bundled with the HAT promise of second gen legendaries. While well, this weapon looks very sleek and simple, it actually has a very nice aura as well as some amazing drawing animation. And that is what I am going to be showing to you guys in the video. We're going to have a look at the drawing animation, at the effects when using the weapon, at the footfalls, and then finally my overall review on the legendary weapon. So the drawing effect is a pillar of light that comes from the heavens down to you. You also have a sound cue as you take the weapon out and back in. I personally think that this drawing animation is very nice and it does remind me of Verderac in some ways. The drawing animations of the uh, second generation of legendaries in Guild Wars 2 have been much bigger than the ones of the first generation and still look so much better. Now looking at the weapon as it is drawn, you can see that the small parts that were before affixed to the longbow's frame are now floating in midair. The longbow itself is a weapon of light and having a look at the bowstring as well as the uh, body of the bow itself, it is pure light. Now what is pretty interesting is what it comes to be on the projectiles, so that's what we're gonna have a look at right now. We're gonna get a bit closer to some better ground to look at them. As you can see, it is directly some beam of light or some sort of laser. This is being shot from the bow. All complete with sound effects. So if you want to uh, roleplay as a stormtrooper, you've probably got your sound effect right there. I personally think that the projectiles are very good for that weapon because they are not made to be too huge, they're rather simple and still can be seen as being shot from the legendary due to the shininess of them. However, as you can see right now, the light effect does not apply to every single skill that you can have on the longbow. All the shots fired normally are however using the effect. As said before, I personally think that this is a very nice effect on the legendary. We're now gonna have a look at the aura and for this purpose we're gonna put ourselves in the shade. So the aura is some light exuded by your body and I also think that this is a very, very good choice of an aura. It looks simple yet good, kind of reminds me of the sunrise aura in a sense. And it is not uh, by any means something that would demean your outfit or your armor. This can be used to complete an otherwise celestial or very wide inspired look. And I think that it would fit quite well with some icy theme as well. So, if you are into this kind of outfits, this is a good legendary for you. Finally, let's have a look at the footfalls. The footfalls are rather simple. They are some small cracks in the ground from which light comes out. I also think that this is a pretty good footfall because I am not a fan of footfalls that are too big, such as the one on the Shining Blade, for example. This is a very sleek one. And it once again fits the theme of the legendary. This longbow is simple, it is sleek, it looks elaborate, and this is exactly what I would have wanted for a longbow after Kudzu, 
which was very forest themed and as such would only fit on some specific races or character themes. This longbow is a weapon that you can adapt to a lot of character looks and as such was very well made by Arnonet. This now means that the video is over. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this showcase of the legendary longbow and if you have any question, do not hesitate to ask them in the comment section. For full disclosure, this video was made with the support of Arena Net.